What's up? What's up? What's up? Thanks for joining. Bellinger. I hope you can hear me. Can you guys hear me? Uh, uh, yes. What's up, man? Oh, uh, you know, hanging out in my kitchen, essentially. Yeah. Where's your <laughs> kitchen? Are, Are you, you in Jersey? Jersey? Yeah, I'm Are in Jersey. In... Okay. Have you been there the whole pandemic? Yeah. We have a house here, so just been chilling out. Nice and comfy. Um, yeah, so, good. yeah. Um, what have you been up to? Okay, so uh, I, I we can have a private talk, but um, no, most of you people probably aren't familiar with you. So, this is Tyler Bellinger. Um, he is a singer, hey, Rob, songwriter Rob. extraordinaire. And uh, you want to give us a little background? I tried to look you up, and your bios are all over the place. I don't know if you know um, that. I I didn't. I truly, you know what it is? I feel like I've had a few projects in the past few years. Mm -hmm. The bio shifts ever so, <laughs> so like <laughs> a little bit. Hi, yes. everyone. Um, well, already with the fun. Leave. They want they want your bandmate, man. They don't care about me. <laughs> no, you guys are going to have to be patient. Um, yeah, so, yep. My name is Tyler James Bellinger. Um, I'm in a band... Uh, King David, K-N-G-D-A-V-D, with my buddy John. And uh, we've had, like, songs in, like, Guinness commercial, different TV shows, stuff like that. Um, I have a, a solo project that just came out two weeks ago um, called yeah, Songs for safe. Younger Me. And, um, uh, you know, what'd you say? Oh, it, sound, it sounds great. I, I've been listening to it. Um, oh, unfortunate sure. timing. I would say. Uh, I feel like you can't really promote it right now. Um, I don't want to say unfortunate timing because, like, I think what's happening is important. Mm -hmm. um, was there more? Yeah. Was there more ideal timing? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> um, but it's okay. Um, you know, I was fortunate. Like Apple threw their support behind it the first week. Um, right before everything kind of went to shit. So I was like, all right, at least I got like, you know, I got some love, so I'm thankful. Um, yes. I, I do feel awkward about self-promotion right now. Yeah, that's uh, the problem. It's like not the time to be self-promoting. I, I, I took a week off from doing this because I was like, it just didn't feel like it mattered. But um, gotta, gotta keep, keep charging along. That's really all you can do. Like, I did a live video for each um, song on the project, and I was gonna put it out every week. And you know, I'm I'm just gonna wait a, wait a second. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna put out something I think probably in the next couple of days a live video, mm -hmm. and then you know we'll see. I'm trying to take it as it comes. You okay. know, I'm glad everyone likes the shirt. <laughs> I think it's from Target. <laughs> <laughs> wherever Sunday, I like so it, easily distracted by it's hard for me it's hard for me to read these actually it's just too much and I, I i it's hard for me to like have a conversation read those prepare for what i'm gonna say next but uh amen to you for being able to yeah well, well i didn't comments. say i'm doing well with it i, I feel like <laughs> my adhd is just like woo. yeah through the roof. Um, um so the first track i i uh I realized I haven't really talked to you since the first song was one you did on Songland. Yes. Season, which was a year ago. And what was, uh, in a nutshell, what was that process? Um, Songland, we shot it in March of 2019. And then my episode didn't come out until September 11th. And um, it was a cool, it was cool. Yeah, I would have loved to win, but I didn't. <laughs> So, what so does it matter? I mean, you get a placement, right? That's that. That's the extent of it. You know, in a way, the the show, it kind of had like residual good effects. 
in the mm. in the very first like week or two i didn't really um i didn't really see a lot from it you know like kind of what the expectation was because you know you expect if you're on like national television that like oh man you might you might uh you know get a bigger like boost in social yeah. media and it didn't necessarily do that but what happened was a lady monica at apple who does a lot of a lot of the playlisting found the song and then like almost a month after the song was on a show on the show it kind of started i was like looking at my plays and i was like what's happening <laughs> and it kind of just happened like a little late and so I don't know. It was it was a really cool situation. Um, uh, I was scared shitless singing in front of Ryan Tedder. Yeah, Shannon I can Fletcher. imagine. <laughs> um, it's pretty high pressure being on any TV show because they're like, okay, go. And you're like, okay, this is it. I get one shot, maybe a second if it's really bad. But Yeah, I um, they had to reshoot part of it because <laughs> like that door that they use is like a prop door that you're supposed right. to like, push and uh they're like don't put your hand on the handle on the handle i know that's what you want to do instinctually but don't do it and i was like okay i got it and like they film you walking through the door and i got really i got really nervous <laughs> and i put my hand on the handle and my fingers got stuck in the door <laughs> so, so they had to like, reach it. <laughs> screaming in pain like, ah! um, um. oh it's it's terrifying um, you didn't. You didn't look nervous. It somebody did. I remember. I remember watching it. I was like, I'm proud. I know that guy. Um, well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, what are you gonna? You're gonna play a tune? Yeah. Um, I was gonna play piano and sing, but then I realized I was with you, and I don't play piano like that. <laughs> I, nah. You. You're probably. I mean, whatever. Um. So I. <laughs> my buddy did. I did some acoustic tracks. Um for for the project and so i'm right. gonna just kind of like sing along to that i figured i'd rather do that than play piano right now also my piano is super out of tune because no one's allowed over to to tune it yeah um, no problem all right let me know i always get nervous with these like how levels are so let me know if like the track is too loud versus me or whatever okay sounds good. also Someone said I sound like a 90s anime character, and I thought that was really funny. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess you do. I don't know. I, I don't know. I sound like what I sound like. Yeah, you said, you're, you're, one in, you're an individual. Thank so. you. <laughs> I try. Um, also, hey, Rob. I haven't talked to you in a minute. Sorry. I had to. <laughs> All right. Let me know if you can hear this okay. All right. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. You were looking for a hero. I was always trying to save you. Had to learn the way to let go. Even though I didn't want to, I was made it complicated. When loving you was easy, guess the truth of what I'm facing is I made it easy leaving. I thought I had to fix you, thought you had to change. But selfish is it, selfish doesn't. Sorry, babe. And oh, I'm not giving you up, I'm not giving you up again. Oh, I'm not giving you up, I'm not giving you up. No lost cuss on no casualties. It's all these bitches that you and me. And oh, I'm not giving you up, I'm not giving you up again, oh, I'm not giving you up, I'm not giving you up again. I don't know what I was chasing, my ego on my freedom, not a clue what I was thinking, you're the only thing I'm needing. I thought I had to fix you, thought you had to change. But selfish is it, selfish doesn't. Sorry, babe. Oh, I'm not giving you up, I'm not giving you up again. Oh, I'm not giving you up, I'm not giving you up. No lost cost, no gas, no 
Sounding great as always. Thanks, man. Um, I appreciate it. So Tyler, Tyler James Bellinger. Yes. Songs for a younger me. Look him up on Spotify, Apple. Uh, yes. I have my playlist. You can. Uh, it's called Heard on Keep Up the Good Work. And um, yeah, thanks. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. I'll text you outside of here. But okay, sounds good. Um, Please thank do. you guys. I appreciate it. I hope you like the song. I'm glad you like the shirt. Most importantly, and. Um, Maybe I'll get some voiceover acting because of this. So. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I, me too. Yeah. Um, uh, all right, dude. Have a good one. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of the show because I know that's what they're really excited about. But thanks for having me on. <laughs> uh, anytime. Good to see you. Right. Be safe. Okay. Um, okay. And now if you can figure out, so Zubin didn't have uh, Instagram installed. So we'll see if this actually works and he can figure this out. I don't think he's ever been live. Looks like he's here. We'll see. We'll see. Can we get Zubin in here? I see Ross is here. Um, ah, someone's Hello. Eye. Oh, Whoa. there he is. It's Zubin What's himself. Up? You got a lot of facial hair these days. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of facial hair these days. Hello, everybody. Tyler, that was fantastic, man. I have yet to meet you, but uh, you got a hell of a voice, sir. He's no longer in the live stream. It's just me and you. But he, I don't know. If he, he can maybe hear it, you know? Maybe he'll hear the comment if he's still uh, still listening. It's true. So how are you, man? Uh, I'm good. How are you? I think my beard is a yeah. little bit bigger than yours. It is definitely it? is. I've been shaving yeah. mine. So oh. you, you've been growing yours. How, how romantic. You've got like a Raffi look going on. Almost. Do I? A Raffi look. <laughs> I, I kind of tried to keep the theme so. of like a tropical uh, something. A tropical something. Yeah, my shirt's not my shirt's not as good, but well, okay. you you live in like a tropical area, so yeah. I live in a tropical area here. We can uh, got a nice little. It's under construction, yeah. but I've got a nice Oof. little little tropical tropical world out here. So I'll trade trade places with you if you want. I'm cool. I'm good. Okay, this is your day off, so we're doing it on Tuesday because you're you're working all the time. Yeah, the, I get Tuesday afternoons off, and so. Uh, so I was working this morning, but uh, but not free. You know, I should work on this like handless thing that you're doing here. You got it leaned against something that seems a lot more. I convenient. know, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, oh, that's yeah. good. There you go. You figured it out because you don't yeah, want to be holding and shaking and blah blah blah. But I like the action shot because then it's constantly. it's more engaging. Yeah. Okay. Um, what time do you get up for work? Like on today. This is this is really what you want to ask me right now? Uh, what time do I go? Yeah, because I was like, are you are you running on like two hours of sleep? Or are you running on like you know? I don't uh, know. Okay, I have two kids. Here, let's let's keep it let's keep it engaging. I lied. I sat down and I felt really comfortable, but let's keep it engaging. Okay. I have two children. Uh, now I have a wife. Did I get okay, on the so, go? I don't know. I like this. Okay. Yeah, you want to watch? Do you have, I have a pretty good uh. So, let's just um, here. so they're not I'm home because, because they were gonna make noise and make this terrible, but. Here, are, these are my two, uh, two uh, recent picture of my two oh. kids, my my girl and and my boy. And so, uh, you know, uh, the, the thing about it is that uh, they decide how much I get to sleep each night. Ah, so they that's why I took you on that little detour. Okay. <laughs> so, what are you so, doing uh, these days, Zubin? Um, I am. It's I am 2011, a, uh, and you finished touring. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Like, you want me to take you, get you up to date from everything that I did back then? 
yeah, maybe that's a good thing to do. I feel like okay. I, I have a lot of questions for you, and a lot of them, a few of them revolved around you not being on social media. So I feel like um, that's a good place. I sorry, is it a condiment? I do have a, a, a an up, upgrade uh, or something to tell you, an update about uh, ketchup, but we'll get there. Um, oh, so 2011, awesome. this is all leading up to the moment I found a new kind of ketchup that I like even more than natural ketchup. So I'm yeah. going to catch you up that whole, that whole story. Yeah, 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 I'll go. I'll show you. I'll all take right. you on a tour for that one. Okay, okay so please, yeah, please. Uh, 2011. So I'm there at Brooklyn. Uh, we, I'm living with Rob. Then we leave. I go back to school. So I go to finish up my degree. Um, I get a, I, I write a thesis. I don't even know why I did that. It just really went, wow. uh, I just went hard. I was like, I'm back. Let's do this. So I finished up my degree at Michigan. And then uh, I came out to uh, California, Northern California for medical school. Spent two years in Northern California, then two years in Southern California. Applied for a family medicine residency, got that, Southern California. And went through three years of training during which I got married and had two kids. And then uh, took my board exam about like a, a little more than a year ago. And I've been uh, a uh, family medicine doctor uh, actively <laughs> practicing for the past year. And um, all of that was a part of my journey to get you to this point where I recently discovered a new, even better ketchup at Trader Joe's, which I think is where our original natural Sorry. ketchup was from. It might have been. Uh, I just bought Annie's, which was pretty good. Annie's natural Hold ketchup. Hold on. Andrew, this isn't about your story, okay? You get this thing okay. all the time. This is about my story. Uh, Jesus. But no one asked okay. me about ketchup. This, the, this uh, is awkward. This is really awkward. I can't you find ketchup. Right oh, here's, I got it. I got, I got. Buddy, this is really important. Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay, tomato, tomato ketchup, ketchup with black summer truffle and other what? natural flavors. And it's pretty natural and it's got cloves in there and other stuff and black truffle. Anyway, it's not real like amazing truffles, but. It's, it's <laughs> delicious. Okay, what else do you have in your refrigerator? So, I, I'm, That's I, I, I apologize. Uh, let's just ask you about ketchup. <laughs> okay. Uh, what, okay. What's your preferred ketchup? Um, I mean, I, I definitely go with organic ketchup these days. But um, okay. I have to say, it. So a lot of times it has a little fun bit fact, of sugar. Fun fact, one of our friends wanted us to name this, this oh my God. organic ketchup. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're, Wait, you're hold on. Off. When this thing falls out, sometimes it resets, and then I'll hang up on you. I don't want to do that. That's okay. They're I cheap. I, they're cheap. I lost my expensive one, so, you know. Uh, do, you, do you remember when we were writing that sketch and uh, one of our friends wanted us to change it to organic ketchup, and we just didn't felt it flowed as nicely as natural ketchup? Do you remember when we got that comment? Anyway, so now you're eating the organic ketchup, yeah. That seems like a Ricky comment. Like, we're all... Is it, you're spot on. That's exactly what it was. That was a Ricky okay, comment. He would find something to pick at with that. He would. He would. He would. I hope he's, he's doing great, though. Ricky. Haven't talked to him in a while. You know? Good guy. R okay, Rick so anyway. Rick is an internet superstar. Um, okay. Where were we? Well, this, is, this is your show, man. I don't know. You oh wanted me to gosh. catch you up and... Uh, okay, I told first... You to start quick. I got... I asked for questions and we got about 100 or... 200, I don't know, it was a long, I just kept going. Let's stay, here until, let's stay here until midnight and get I'm to I'm not going to ask, okay, good, because that's all I have to do. Um, first of all, this isn't a question, but it's LE Studio's birthday, so um, happy birthday. Uh, so Musical Bird asks, how are you? There's a lot of questions like that, so. I don't I'm doing great. That. <laughs> I'm doing really great, thank you. Okay, do you have intentionally oh, and hello, to, hello to Ross and Rob. Do I what? intentionally avoid social media yeah i do actually kind of intentionally avoid social media so i made the Why? conscious decision to delete my facebook and uh instagram apps on my phone just so i don't know man you know i just felt like it was uh unproductive use right? of my time what's that yeah i feel like i'm only in it because i'm still in music and everybody i know is in it i 100 percent would be too i mean if i if i was doing that there's it makes sense but for me it's like uh I don't know, man. It's just comparing yourself to other people. It's like, you know, there's some negative sides of it. And also just the time suck, frankly. Like, I just could do more productive things with my time. So, um, but I love you guys. Um, you know, it's not that I, I don't, you know, love you guys. I'll give you his cell phone number if you guys really want it. Um, yeah, yeah. Please distribute that widely. <laughs> okay. What's it like being a doctor? Have you ever gotten recognized on the job? Um, not by like somebody who came out as like a super active fan. No. There are people who will like uh, on their on my first meeting with me will be like, "Hey, I researched you and really like your band and a lot of variety and stuff." And then I just have to make some awkward conversation with them before I'm like, "Okay, so this is visits about you. Like, how do we? What, what's up? How can I help you? Uh, what's it like okay. to be a doctor? Uh, it is um, 
it's crazy, man. It's crazy to be a doctor. Yeah. It's like really uh, busy and intense. Um, and you really get to just ask whatever questions you want because you have to get, you have like a certain amount of time and you got to really get to the point. So I don't, I don't know how to have normal conversations anymore uh, and ask like appropriate things of people because, you know, you just got to go right in. So you just know. How oh, to you know what? The, bullshit, the right? Zubin, I saw something about the Zubin bus shirt and um, oh, that is still used. That. That's still alive. It does have a little moth hole in it moth eaten and actually my wife wears it more which is relatively accurate she does drive the zubin bus so anyway i thought you were going to say zubin uh your wife ate it but no she's in the process of eating she's the moth <laughs> i'm married to a moth <laughs> <laughs> that's what i was getting at um mine has like giant pit stains but i still have it um and nice. someone asked nice. yeah anyway you need to know that uh i, d I didn't need to know that Someone asked about how they originated, and it basically it was like our first tour, right? It was uh, in Madison. We were in uh, was it Minnesota, Minneapolis, it was Minneapolis? It was Madison. It was Madison. It was Madison. It was hundred percent Madison. Just no doubt yeah. about it, man. It was, it was on M something. Right? I thought about this before we, you came on, so so um, you you prepped yourself mm -hmm. anyway. And so some Madison. awesome fan just progressively started giving giving us these shirts. They, 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 they were wearing it at first, right, in the audience. Oh and yeah, they and then they came it back to us afterwards. It was our residency tour. Um, but then at the end, like 30 of them came with the shirt, right? Yeah. It's like people, that. just random people on the street who had, who didn't even know us were wearing those shirts in, in that place in, in, in Madison. Very popular. very popular shirt. It should have been actually. Ooh. It wasn't actually. I'm, I'm just lying, but. <laughs> okay. Um, ah, oh, no. This is going to be a disaster, I'm telling you. Dude, right you got to sew that thing in. I know. I was going to. Um, can you even hear me? I can hear you 100%, man. Okay. Oh my gosh. Whew. Deep rest. Okay. Um, there's a lot of questions about doctors. Why are you a doctor? Why am I a doctor? Uh, I'm a doctor because I want, like, I think like the baseline thing was I wanted to help people out mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and do like wake up and do something good for people every single day. Cause that would just be like built in, like, you know, your job is going to be something that that's uh you know, just good for the world. And so uh, that's sort of why I, I started on the journey. And I also just like science and stuff like that. So, um, and uh, yeah, that's my answer. Okay. There was a related question that, that uh, came up to me and it was basically, okay. uh, what's your, uh, why is there such a correlation between bass players and science? And I don't know if there actually is, but someone asked me that. I meant to research it. I didn't. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, Fun to study to true? determine yeah. which position in a band uh, is the most scientific. Which maybe is the drummer drums. in our band. Definitely, yeah. Drums. It maybe may, I think Ross takes the cake for that one. You know, but I feel like every band has a drummer that's like a little more on top of it. Like the drummer is the one who gets you to the gigs, plan stuff out, blah blah blah. And if you don't have that, then your band's gonna suck. Your band's gonna suck. Your band sucks if your drummer's not a scientist. Is that a fair sentence that we can say to everyone? Or I think if your drummer is capable of being a scientist. I remember seeing James Blake uh, at a festival and his drummer was sweet. He was really, really great. And I don't, I'm not sure he was a scientist. Would you recruit him for a scientist position though? Would you like trust him? You'll check that guy and go, you know hey, what? I think you can do this. Just to, Ross, did Ross say something? I think Ross, what did Ross say? Ross, it's, don't. I don't think Ross, all drummers get more. bands to gigs. LOL. That's not English, Ross. <laughs> to gigs. Anyway, uh, anyway, I would okay. recruit that guy. Anyway, yeah. Ross. I, I, I want to hang out with him. You know, he could just drum in the background while I was doing things. And I'd be like, oh, I feel great. I'll yeah. Do my, let, me, let me do my science. You know, you'd enhance my science. Do you ever bring your bass to work to like get bad news? You're like, boom, boom, boom. And then you're like, oh, by the way, you're, you got you're high cholesterol. Off. <laughs> you're what you're, you're um, it's, a, it's a lot more like you've got high cholesterol you get and uh, you have mr potato head as a client yep. though right mm, your blood heads. sugars are high <laughs> you know like i, I do so like that and just do, do, do. no that yeah, would be yeah. um that would be really weird that would be super that would but be it'd be cool really if i could weird. like bring in the thing and plug into like an amp that's already on like in the room you know like <laughs> i was just waiting for me like i just walked around and plugged it in i <laughs> think you can fun. do that you can get a wireless uh wireless amp you know no, no, I, I prefer the action of plugging it in awkwardly and it making that noise and then starting my, my show, you know, but I it's not really a show. Yeah. I think, I think you I would, use wireless technology. 
Yeah, I guess I could play intro music. I could play intro music for myself when I'm walking in that way. You know, like you'd hear the music before you saw me. I'd just be playing it like behind the door a little bit, and then I could just yeah. open the door and kind of come in. Maybe yeah, I'm the definitely Seinfeld, not. The Seinfeld theme song on bass, you know? <laughs> then you're in. <laughs> okay, what are I the best and worst instruments? I'm glad we just stopped talking about it right there. Um, what are the best and worst instruments in medicine? Music and, and in... medicine. Uh, your brain. I for thought best, you were looking up on an invisible computer. You're like, oh, Let me see here. Uh, uh, consensus, your brain, uh, your brain is, uh, okay. is the best for both. And um, your ankles are pretty bad, I would say. I don't, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to final answer. I don't think that was quite the question, but I'll go with it. I know, but, but, you know, your, your brain is an, is an instrument in a way. Yeah, that, that is true. That's true. And they're related. It does many things. And I can't, people. I can't just pick bass. I'm not going to pick bass. I'll say piano. You know what, buddy? It's your show. And also it's like yeah. a really wide ranging instrument that can become any other instrument. And your so piano is a pr 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 pretty dope instrument. So, you know, that's a pretty good one. What are some yeah, of your wackiest tour memories? And this is a question for you, but I'm going to ask, answer it. Um, that's the wackiest thing that's happened. Oh my gosh. Okay. So uh, remember, I, actually, I just want to tell you something and I, it related to one of our videos and it's, uh, remember that video of Glamour Hotel and Sh Shakira was outside the hotel and you blew up my car? Mm -hmm. Am I, am I in bed? I got to forget. Something like that. Yeah. But uh, yeah. my car, my car is uh, gone. It's gone to a graveyard. That car? Yeah, that's that the car whole is no story. longer with us. Are, are you the suggesting car. that that wasn't real? Well, like the, when it happened, then it wasn't real. And I wish it was after real. that skit. <laughs> when I was getting rid of my car, I was like, maybe I wish that's how it went. I know. Maybe there's a company that like will take my car and blow it up. Wouldn't that be sweet Probably. if you're like. I, I, you have like a ceremony? You gotta have a ceremony for your car? No, I was just, I just was like, let's get an action shot. Like I'll pay a couple hundred bucks for someone to film it in slow motion going off a cliff and fire and stuff, you know? Um, you know what you my wackiest memory is? You know what one of the craziest memories is? And this is kind of topical. Uh, and maybe I'm getting a little too political here, but uh, I remember when we were on the road and some other band we won't name was, uh, was kind of like vandalizing a hotel. And then the cops came and I talk about uh, this basically on a you did. Yeah. Oh, so this, this is boring for other people. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, go, anyway, for it, go for it. Yeah. No, it's just that I remember the cops came in and like just like slammed open the door and like and pushed you down with no regard to like what the story is. Like, did we actually do that vandalism? Not just incredibly yeah. aggressive. And uh, so, you know, I think that's. Uh, There's Emma, Casey, though. <laughs> a very, 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 very insignificant act relative to the things that are going on right now, but like kind of a, a sign of how, how things can get kind of crazy. Uh, anyway, please. Yeah. That's, that's definitely one that sticks in my mind. That's Casey. That I thought about recently. Casey, Bill. <laughs> Casey Shea, is that real? That looks like his real picture. It is, it's real, it's real. We had, we had an Emma Pankos and a Casey Shea. Um, okay, most awkward moment. And there's no like in the band or anything, just in general. You have a most awkward moment? That, it's okay, it's a tough question. It might be right now. No, sorry, no, I don't feel awkward. Okay. Um, I'm not sure I have the most awkward moment. I don't, I don't, I'm not off the top of my head anyway. Okay, what was, um, so this is a more of a serious question. What was the writing process for Tally House Music? I'll let you uh, explain. And do you know- Give Pat? it a go. And also, you're not really up on Spotify. You don't use Spotify, right? How rude. I mean, you're not doing that, that kind of stuff. Anyway, Cannibal is one of our top songs now. Believe it or is not. It really? yeah. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, awesome. Um, that's funny. Uh, well, I think the writing process was really different for each person. Um, you know, like, uh, Joe, I remember, would have relatively formed songs with, like, a decent idea of what he wanted each instrument to do. Uh, for me, like, my process was... I would usually start out with like sound or something that would just kind of inspire me and like build it out from a verse and then to a chorus and then what fit and then, or I'd have like an idea for like a theme or an idea that sort of got me going. So I never really had like a specific way of going about it. Um, Andrew, I feel like you had, your demos were pretty complete as well. 
Um, maybe we would like work on like parts of them, but uh, but for the most part, they're pretty complete. Um, yeah, we're basically separate units that came in. Yeah, or sometimes we would like we would like work on songs together. Like there's there's a few times where we like kind of worked in like pairs to uh to to make. Uh, we're gonna, songs. We're gonna release Stranger one day. Yeah, we will, dude. We definitely will. <laughs> I still like that. I, I think I think we should wait. I like it too. I think we should wait until we're like really old, though. Like you music know, that and, we and, made in our early twenties. Yeah, yeah, and it's and stranger <laughs> when you're not around, and it's more about like the people we've lost in our lives, you know. So it takes on a, another <laughs> meeting because we're like so old, and like our all of our friends are gone. Yeah, maybe okay, we no? should like. Yeah, that's a great idea. Great idea. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so everybody, you're not going to hear it in, for another fifty years, but it'll come. Yeah, it's um, a good anyway. song. You'll just hang hang in there for a couple <laughs> decades. <laughs> like the biggest letdown for waiting for something for that long. When are you guys gonna put on new music? Um, that's a great idea. Well, we're old. Just, we'll, um, we'll get there. We get there. We got some yeah. good ones in the in the banks. Okay, we got to keep this moving, too, man. Um, I I'm following your lead, boss. I'm gonna go more serious. Um, how has COVID affected your practice? Or affected your? It was your crazy. Diet? Yeah. It was crazy. It was it was um. It was exciting at first because uh, it, it was just like, whoa, there's this new thing in medicine. And that like the mental aspect of this new disease with all this information coming out was super stimulating. Um, early on, uh, I uh, had a patient actually had a couple of exposures, but I wasn't even like masked or whatever. And somebody was like, you know, I was in the room with a patient who had ended up having COVID and I knew it. And I kind of like kept track of them and eventually found out they had COVID. Um, so, and I think I may have gotten it, but I never got tested to know and hopefully I'm doing good but I don't know um and then uh as it's progressed now I'm doing a lot of telephone medicine so I'm only in the in the office like seeing people face to face a lot less than I was before and the volumes are down so um anyway so now it's just a lot of uh, uh phone calls and then seeing people face to face every once in a while and it's like you know we, we don't you don't know who has COVID and who doesn't but I mean I guess I'm lucky in the fact that I, I'm relatively young you know and so we'll probably be okay anyway or maybe I already had it and I'm good um mm -hmm. Do but, you take extra uh, precautions when you're at work? There, it's standardized. So it's where right. we work, it's completely standardized. So like I got to wear a, a mask like all the time. Like, you have no choice. The mask protects uh, other people from you. So mm -hmm. hopefully the patient is masked also. And then you try not to stay in the room for like, you know, that long uh, if you don't have to, uh, to like reduce exposure. But, uh, and then like for people who you know are positive or who have those things, like I go in a space suit, you know, I'm like yeah. in one of those. I, I do. Yeah. So I got like a vacuum attached to it. <laughs> It's like a negative Seriously? pressure uh, mask. I'm not kidding. 100 percent true. I, I don't yeah, have a picture of it. I, I might have a picture of it. If you have not a picture like printed. of it, printed. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, should post it to um, post it Instagram? to Instagram after this. Yeah, post it as a photo. Okay, I don't know if I have it, but I'll, I'll check. You want me to? I, I might have it. I don't know. Or next time I'll I do it, anyway, I'll take a picture and I'll post it for you specifically. If you, uh, yeah, you can also text to me and I'll put it up on here. But um, you know, if you what are you trying like to try and take here? my picture, man? What? You're trying to use my picture to uh I'm, I'm just giving you options and ways i'm just All right, trying to help I appreciate man. it if, if i want to see this off. i got you i got you i got you i got you okay, no, okay. I, I don't i don't consider myself like as frontline as um as like a lot of like you know er docs and, and like and when the places where it was really crazy like new york you know those are the people who are like really putting their lives on the line a lot on a daily basis you know we, we i had exposures and that's fine and i volunteered to work at the hospital because we thought it was going to really like ramp up at one point but we never really hit that here in, uh, in Southern California, thankfully. So, um, but we'll see. Still. We'll see what happens. Yeah, hopefully not. Why um, are people talking okay. about my privates? Are they? No, I think you probably saw. They're saying my they're saying my, they're saying my <laughs> profile is private. Okay. You're uh, <laughs> what? Okay. okay. Anyway, um, we got dude. I have like over. It stopped telling me how many questions we have because there's so many questions. Um, what was the MMM recording process like? in two sentences or less. I added that second part. Okay, cool. So I don't have to listen to the <laughs> second part. Um, looking back on it, it was super fun. You know, it was a time when there was like no pressure on us, you know, like I think part of the weird thing about like recording with Atlantic was just like, you know, we wanted to write the songs that we wanted to write and they wanted a certain song they wanted to hear and that just like wasn't us. And so we kind of just like, made our music but it was this it was weird you know it took so long with marvin's it was so fun man we were just like trying yeah. to bring people together and pull like resources from like thin air to like come in and do things and we set no limits for ourselves and whatever we want to use and i will use that was one 
really long run on sentence. So I still have another sentence left, which was the one I just said, so I'm done. Okay. I, w I was, I was going to say, there is, um, every five years, I don't think we've ever revealed this, but there is a video on the making of Marvin's. And one day, when we're old, it might be fun to release it. You know what? Eating. That, yeah, yeah, we'll do Stranger. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll have a thing where we're like on the screen, we'll put that up. We'll perform Stranger live yes. for them. Yeah, and okay. then and showing up the early. entire making of Marvin's. Okay, yes. perfect. Um, someone asked, perfect. "Is it smaller than a bread box?" Um, it, I, I think this is a Jeopardy question. It could be. It could be. Okay. No, I think you're supposed to say, "What is?" Um, oh, what is small? No, well, what is smaller than a bread box? No, you're supposed to answer with "What is whatever." It should be, "It is smaller than a bread box," and I should be like, answer, "What is?" I'm out. Well, their question are their question. Okay, I'll take it. Um, do you All play? Right. I don't think it was uh, someone... Jeopardy. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> someone asked, "Is it true you play drums in Listed Black?" I did. Next. That's how deep these people go. Okay. Any tips for aspiring musicians? Uh, uh, do it. You know, just keep keep doing it. Record stuff. Just, put it just out keep there. Doing it. Okay. Yeah, just keep, keep um, doing it, you know? It's really yeah, hard, actually. So, you know, like, so sorry, okay, let me give it a more real answer to that. You know, like, now when I look back, it's kind of crazy that easily being a doctor, no question. That's, that's, uh, being a musician, okay. was, was it hard? I guess it's, I guess it's, it's different. <laughs> it's different. The actual, Thanks, work, okay, P playing, Thanks, no, Subin. playing music on a stage is, like, fun, you know? That's super fun. Working on, like, writing mm -hmm. songs is, um, is fun. Uh, a lot of the work of like the day-to-day -day work of being a doctor is not, not as like fun in that sense, you know? Uh, but there are different struggles, you know, there's a lot more uncertainty in being a musician and that part can be a little bit stressful and like not knowing like when you're going to get your next, whatever, like paycheck gig, whatever it's going to be, who you're going to tour with the uncertainty of like, can I settle down, find a wife? Like, like what's going to happen? That part is definitely hard. Right. And that, that part's not as hard uh, being in sort of a more traditional, uh, you know, uh, career, but. So that's, is that a better, more complete answer? It's different. Yeah. But perfect, I would say like perfect. the work of it is harder. Um, and being a father, being a father is harder than all of it. No. Sorry for asking again, but can we get an update on this? <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> the single guy, the single guy just goes, no. <laughs> no kids. Can we get an update right? on the rivalry between Ludo and Tyler Hall? I mean, I think we know. That's such I think a specific knows. question. Um, someone asks this every single time, and I don't think they actually tune in because they're like, if you haven't answered this, so most underrated soup. Most underrated soup? Yes. Most underrated soup? I haven't even, who comes up with these questions? Okay, we're moving on. I'm okay? thinking about how, we're I don't moving know how on. to rate you can think soups. about this the rest of the interview, okay? I won't. I what are your... This this question boggled my mind because I don't know what it is, but I wonder if you know. What are your thoughts on the current Joe drama? I don't know what that is. I don't know either. Maybe okay. I, I was. Maybe, I was maybe, gonna us, I'll, I'm going to private message that person and and see, and see what they know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the bottom of this. Yeah, um, okay. Uh, which one of you is the re real greatest basketball player of all time? That's me. Who's your favorite Beatles member? No, definitely not you. Uh, favorite Beatles member? <laughs> uh, this is so lame, but I... Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, God, Paul, so I'm sorry. But it is. I, you know, I just think that okay. he's like an amazing, amazing talent. It's not because he played the bass. Definitely. Yeah, no, Paul is... He's, he's Paul is incredible. Top four. Top four. Top, um, of the Beatles? Or of <laughs> all musicians? Of the Beatles. Yeah, I think there's... I, uh, I think it's a bit um, higher than that. Okay, assuming concerts are a thing again in the future, when is the Blanche Re Tally Hall reunion show? And I only ask that because it's B. Silton, who are, I'm pretty sure we know um, from way back. Hold so. on, hold on, hold on, Octangula Stella. No, not Paul. Go ahead and tell me why, Octangula Stella. Is that a question? Okay, well, we'll wait for that response. Uh, no, 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 right, no, yeah. no, no. Somebody was saying... Paul McCartney, hmm. you guys, do you listen to the Beatles? 
Okay. Oh anyway, uh, okay. we're, we're going to move on to live questions. We, that we've was caused just a lot of questions. Holy crap! Okay. The best, okay. the best gonna... beetle is um... the dung beetle. <laughs> does he know Joe's catcher? Do you, okay. Do you see how, how did I get this larger asking? statement? Yeah, yeah. How does he know? Does he know Joe's ketchup? I don't know Joe's ketchup. This, um, you know, hey guys, okay. can I make a recommendation? I think you should. I'm going to go quick. I'm going to go quick. Op Open-ended questions. You know, not yes or no questions. Those might be okay. <laughs> You've been seeing two of after supposedly years of not That's singing it. Supposedly, how do you know what I don't sing it? I sing it in my bathroom every time I shower. Next question. You know okay. I think there was a mistake because there's one question that's asked here like 50,000 times. Okay. But I like reverse uh, mullet as a name. Good job. That is not a question for you, but uh, you know. Hey, Tyler, what music do you make? <laughs> well, let me go change my shirt. Uh, he makes pretty good, pretty good music. Okay. Uh, you know, sound, sounded pretty nice. Andrew, what happened, what happened to your to arm? My arm. What? Finally, we get to the real question. Have you been working out, bro? <laughs> I have been working out. Can you tell? Yeah, well, um, I can see what happened okay, to your arm, man. Where did that definition Important come one. from? Are there multiple you know types that? of... Is it macaroni kind of specific? I guess... I don't, best type of macaroni? Macaroni? The ones with cheese? Yeah. I think it's Have like you kept a playing your bass? Craft mac and cheese. That's the best kind? Um, I, Bora, <laughs> really got, Bora really got me into truffle. You remember when he when he brought his little truffle spray on tour and oh, we'd yeah. like we'd stop at like like Wendy's and then spray truffle on our fries like we were like you know it was really fancy but it actually made it taste really good and so I, I do uh, I did do that for him. That I think he still does that probably bring truffle oil everywhere. Um, okay, have you kept playing your bass with with truffle oil? That would be really delicious. Uh, yeah, every, uh, no, the answer is no. I, I'd actually tend to pick up an acoustic guitar more or uh, play on a piano more than I pick up a bass because it's a little tough to play bass by yourself, you know? Well, it's not, but if you want to like sing a song, it's a little bit better to play That's other true. instruments. Yeah. Do you have a piano? Yeah, I have like a little keyboard. No, not, not a piano, but I probably will get like an upright piano. I'm teaching my kid. I, uh, here we go. Let's, let's, yeah, we've been really static for a long time. Is this too, should I not be doing this for? The rapid as long uh, as, question I mean, and answer. It's question. fine as long as you don't cut out. No, I'm, I have, uh, please. <laughs> okay, we can skip this ramen question. I, I got this, I got this um, little Casio keyboard for my son okay. and a little Zebra, Zebra Play It. So this is oh, my main wow. keyboard. No, it's not actually, but that's what I, that's <laughs> can what I Can you play I, a song in <laughs> on that one now? I could, I know how to. Can you, could you write, can you play a song about being a doctor? I, 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 that's all. I'll, after I post the picture of me being in the spacesuit, I'll uh, I'll post the I video like of me playing a song. Happen, about. But okay, I'm not sure either <laughs> of the two of them are, but that's okay. Okay, fine. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. My, no, no, my favorite kind of ramen. Okay, so I went to Japan, um, <laughs> and uh, I, I love Japan. And there's a place here uh, it, that called Hiro Nori, and <sighs> really, really good. And they have like this like uh, black garlic oil that you put in there. Oh my god! Was it a truffle uh, oil? To pork, pork tonkatsu uh, ramen is the best. Okay, guys, what? What, what did everyone keeps writing poggers? What does that mean? They just wanted you to say it. You shouldn't have said it because now it's going to be in memes. Oh my You're god! Be you you that. kids, you people. <laughs> Steven, have you ever used TikTok? I've not used TikTok, but I've, you know, I've heard about it. I think that's Andrew, what... do you know what it means? Can you explain to me what it means? This is so embarrassing to do live and like, I don't know what the word means and I said August, it. Uh, I think it's like totally cool. Like that's what I mean. I, 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 I'm going to get like 10 more emails about this. Um, <laughs> it's like, it means like, to, it means like cool, case, dude. It means like all good. Poggers. Oh, poggers. <laughs> Got it. I think okay. it's like all good. I'm, gonna try, um, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go wild on it now. Okay. I hope I hope you're not like misleading me in it, and it it says something. It means poop. What hobbies? What hobbies do I like? Do I like? Uh, it, in, in medical school, I got into bird watching. <clears throat> it was a good way to like really? uh, just walk around and, and try birds. Yeah, no, I'm not kidding. Um, and uh, I really want to get into woodworking, actually, to be honest. Do you know, but uh, I don't have. Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Oh, do you know uh, Keith Reed who play who played on a. Uh... Do I know Keith Reed? Of course I know Keith Reed. He's a professional woodworker. 
he makes Did furniture. he really? Yeah, he makes furniture. If you need anything, I'll tell him. Oh, let me, let me, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, this is a show and tell. Keep, keep asking other questions. I'm going to pull up the uh, pictures of the birds okay. that I took on the island where I live. Uh, like, what's the deal with Welcome to Now? Uh, it was a, um, a, a website uh, and concept that uh, brought a lot of awareness to people uh, about truth. I, I, yeah, that's a great answer. Um, and, okay. Uh, I actually miss Welcome of... to Now content, you know. I really enjoy Welcome to Now content. I, just, I, I feel like that there's guy, a lot of I can't believe that guy pushed you down. With that. What? That was a low point in my life. Was it? <laughs> that was that was pretty cool, man. I think that was a pretty high high point, actually. Maybe. Okay. What do you think okay. about the South Hell memes? And I was I would ask like I, I've seen so a lot of people on Instagram yeah. have your picture as like their thing. Do you even know that? I don't. I did not know that. I'm honored. I'm sorry that I didn't know that. Okay. Well, so you don't have an opinion on these memes. I don't um, know about the memes to to have an opinion, unfortunately, but. Uh, Sorry. Another question. Do you guys still have your ties? Yeah, yes, of course I still have my ties. Oof. Got to be really careful right now. Hold on. We're in danger zone. Why? Is your ear fall off again? I won't use these again, I promise. Um, That's okay. okay. Do you still have your ties? Of course. Yeah, me too. Um, do you know how to juggle? Don't you, you do know how yeah. to juggle. You're yeah. actually a good juggler, know. right? Yeah. I don't know if I go that far, but yeah, I can juggle. Well, it used to be in the circus. Um, uh, now I can finally launch my my bird photography career. Oh, are you ready for the, to show us? Okay, guys, ready? Okay, I'm gonna take this down so you can see. Ready? Oh, uh, you know, no. now now looking at these pictures, they're really they're really quite terrible. But this no. is a really cool oh, bird I found beautiful. on the island called a cedar cedar waxwing. All right, cedar okay, waxwing. let's see what else I got. Cedar waxwing. Where does it uh, get let its me see. name? From just being a dope waxwing, I guess. I don't really know. <laughs> okay, we've all seen herons wow. before. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold it. This was a long time ago, so, you know. Guys, this is going to be really not that exciting. But keep, uh, here you go. I got this one okay. of this cool hawk that I saw on the island. Nice. Okay, what well, do you this use is to probably. Take pictures? Do you use your iPhone 7 just a, or just, iPhone 9? Just a, just a camera. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. I use. <laughs> Okay, go. So, you know, this will be the background. You know, and, people, and, and people who join okay. right now will have just like no idea what's going on. Like, why is Andrew talking about okay. like a screensaver of like birds? You know, like why is that happening? Um, because that's what we do. That he, here, this bird is carrying a stick. He's not taking a long poop. Just oh my clarity. gosh! Here we go. Favorite bird. Someone asked favorite bird. Um, so you, you can see that. that oh, uh oh! Look what I caught. Oh wow! Hello. Don't. Uh, maybe we should make this an eighteen plus. Have you ever looked at your photos before? <laughs> okay, I, I think that's. I think we're good. Okay, that was interesting. There, though. But uh, but I would walk around um, as like a break from from studying and uh, take pictures of the birds. That's not really that. Do interesting. you play? Go ahead. Someone asked this, and it, it may remind me of another thing we used to play. I, I'm guessing you don't play video games. I don't play first person shooter games. No, because I have uh, terrible uh, uh, motion sickness issues, which is really uh, sad. Like, uh, do you want to play Warcraft three sometime? I would love to play Warcraft. You know, actually, they came up with a reboot of it, like a, a totally new graphics. And uh, oh my gosh, uh, yeah. And Let's do it. Apparently, it was kind of it was kind of a letdown, but they Warcraft. worked on it to progressively make it better. Okay, um, I miss playing Warcraft. I don't play video games like that anymore. I, oh no, I don't. Actually, I don't. I actually, a... I play like this uh, this game called Toki Tori with my son because he likes it, and it's like a little like side scroller puzzle game. So shout out Toki Tori. Is it a phone game? No, it's like a Nintendo Switch game. Okay. Yeah, I got a Switch. I I I got I got um I got Smash Brothers. I do it's, too. Uh, Which are pretty good, right? It's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I'm terrible. Good. I'm not I'm that terrible. good. I'm oh, man. Uh, yeah. Anyway, right. we yeah. don't need to talk about it. We don't need to talk cool. about it. <laughs> I almost swapped you out for somebody random. That was gonna be strange. Should we do that? Oh. <laughs> no, because then you'll have to go. Uh, the ivy. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna speak to you through the ivy now. There's a lot of trans rights text and. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Trans rights. Um, yes. 
If you have trans rights, I have a number of trans patients, many of them actually. And really? I support uh, equality and uh, even care for all types of uh, people. Yeah. That's yeah, I'm not kidding. Shit. I do. I do. Um, okay. I'm getting tired of scrolling through questions. Anything else we should talk about? What is going on? What? I can't see you. Oh, we're back. Um, Oof. Between two ferns, that's what we just transitioned to. Should I ask Jess to start asking you questions? No, please don't. Okay. Uh, they're excited to, for you to be here. I got one in, though. I got one. Fairly one. sure. Um, okay. Well, if that's it, <laughs> do you want to sing a, a song you made up yesterday? I didn't make a song up yesterday, but I can make one up on the spot. Okay. Or I can sing a lullaby. Wait. How about we ask people to give a subject and uh, you sing a lullaby about Speaking it. of which, have you seen Middle Ditch and Schwartz on Netflix? I don't even, no idea what you're talking about. No. If you're interested in improv, that's a much better way to go. Really? What's your yeah. favorite improv show? Or what's your favorite TV show recently? Um, favorite TV show recently? I like a lot of those like comedy uh, news shows. You know, mm -hmm. like... Uh, um, last week tonight, and uh, whatever okay. Hassan. I find it's too heavy for me these days. Can't do it. No. Uh, I, I okay, if you want something not heavy, okay, can I give you a recommendation? Uh, Midnight Gospel is kind of a crazy one. What's that? If you've never watched it, it's on Netflix. It's oh. uh, basically a guy's podcast uh, set to very, very trippy but awesome, uh, uh, it's like psychedelic animation. That sometimes doesn't relate to what they're talking about necessarily. But then it's usually, it's like crazy stuff on the screen, but very profound actual, some of it gets a little bit uh, weird and out there, but it's pretty interesting. I think I Midnight know Gospel. About. It was like, okay. uh, it was promoted for like a total of two days as shows are, and then it was gone. Really? Um, yeah, I don't know. My brother told me about it and I like it. How's your brother doing? He's doing great. Someone asked he's that really good. I didn't ask that. Um, he... He's been really good. I think he's like ready to release another music project under a different name, um, which I am not, I don't know about. Uh, he's sort of kept it to secret from me. Good job, and everybody. he's uh, launching yeah. launching some uh, a couple businesses and they're going pretty well. So uh, yeah, he's been great. We'll, we'll us all. <laughs> I, I hope not. I yeah, that's that's not really his like, that's not really his vibe. He probably won't do that. Are we on this, uh, this stream long enough that your kids might reappear? Uh, no, they went to, they knew this was happening and they, like, they would have been on it already for sure. Uh, right. So they went out to uh, walk by a lake. So I have a feeling that uh, they, they're not they're, here. They're busy. They're, they're busy. not going to be here. No, they're entertained. Um, okay. Well, I think that's, uh, I think that's about it. But we need, do you want to send us off with a lullaby? Yeah. Should I, should we, <laughs> you don't have should to. we turn off? Or should I turn off the sun? Happy birthday, Gianna. <clears throat> Wait, I don't have to, should I? Wait, no, you should, you should. Definitely. Every, Maybe all should, my let guests me, let me, You know what I'll do is let me just turn the screen to something kind of calming. Okay. Okay, so this and then I'll scan. You can put a filter on your face and do something. Um, but that's pretty uh, cool. like Buddy, that. that's like really advanced for me. I, I just like, you know, <laughs> I can't do something like that. Okay, great deal. I have this little thing. Go to bed. It's probably just a fling. There's two girls I like a lot. I think they're really hot. <laughs> but I'm yeah. not sure okay. if I'm not done. Okay, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Seven minutes later. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I apologize to everyone. For that. <laughs> All right. That was great. Okay, well, good to see you. Good to see you, man. And uh, thanks for these folks who came out here to support us and uh, listen to this nonsense. Yes, thank you. Um, it's, uh, we're grateful. You know, it's, we see sort of our Spotify numbers climbing and, uh, you know, just super grateful to have uh, people who listen to our stuff and, uh, you know, care about it. Every once in a while we get actually pretty decently regularly, we get really awesome fan mail and it's really heartwarming to hear. Um, how we sort of help people out and uh, in their lives and different things that how our music's touched them. And so uh, thank you to everyone out there and you, Andrew, for setting this up. Thank you for joining me. This is a rare yeah, man. Yeah, um, man. Okay, cool. 
Take care, buddy. Talk Hope soon. to see you soon. I'll let you know when I'm, when I'm out picture. there. Send me the picture. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> see you, man. Later. All right. Okay, thanks for joining. Um, I'll be back next week sometime. And uh, appreciate it. To let, uh, actually, hold on a sec. Um, okay. No. Okay, bye.